Anyway, uh, there's an uh, interesting new podcast uh, that's kind of sparking up an interesting debate that I thought was interesting, at least. Uh, guitarist Tommy uh, Emmanuel was on there. Um, it's called uh, Beyond the Vibe Podcast. Um, and he goes into this big thing of how he hates when people pull out their phones and film him during his concerts. So he told a story of a fan recently that caught his attention while he was on stage and said, there, there was this lady and she was messing with the phone and she was filming me. Then she'd put it down and then she'd pick it up and then she dropped it and then she picked it up again and she was just kind of all over the place with this with this, uh, <laughs> with this phone and she just apparently just could not leave it alone. Uh -huh. And so, I mean, this is all while he's playing. He's thinking all this crap. Um, and then she, he was like, you know, she must be addicted to her phone. Um, but eventually in the middle of the song, he says he leaned over and said, just enjoy, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the song. Um, and so he's just kind of like talking a little bit about how, um, how it just floors him that a majority of crowd uh, people in the crowd now are holding up their phones and recording it. Um, he says you end up losing all the feeling of a concert. Um, you lose the emotion and the feeling of living in the moment. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting because I mean that is the most common thing ever now at concerts is for everyone to hold up their phone and to to film yeah. everything. Um, but you don't hear it too often of people like really noticing it and getting annoyed by it, you know. Um, well, maybe this was a smaller venue. Well, I'd it, imagine it was. Yeah. It was Tommy Emmanuel, you know, he's not like the most. There's, it's not hundreds of thousands of people lining up to right. see the guy. It's not. But still, you're yeah. you're a musician on a tour. It's kind of doesn't it seem like it's something you should expect now and just have learned how to block it out almost it's like being a baseball player and people yelling talking crap to you like what are you going to like react well, to it all the time well and, some not all the time but sometimes you get enough of it and you go off right not if you're like a true pro yeah well i don't know i don't know um and then they asked, so they also asked them then why, you know, why don't you, why don't you, um, enforce a no phone policy at, at your show? Mm -hmm. Um, and he just says, you know, I, I don't have enough of a following to do that. You know, he thinks that that would alienate well, a lot of people, which it would. Cause a lot of people, you know, a lot of people just pull out oh, their okay. phone. Look at that guitar chord he's playing. Um, a lot of people pull out their phone just to get well, like a little snippet of the concert. Not necessarily they're going to go back home and watch the whole concert, but just to like, you know, maybe a couple of years from now, you pull out, um, you know, your right. phone and oh, right. yeah, I went to that concert. That was cool. And here's a little memory of it in my phone or to show your friends or. Um, I have a solution for it. What's that? Well, the Grateful Dead used to do this, you know. They said, anybody recording the concert, you know, everybody didn't want the great uh, people recording their concerts. Grateful Dead said, look it, you go ahead and film us and record us, but all you guys are over in this section. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if Tommy said, hey, okay, everybody, if you're going to film me, I want you guys all over here in this section. Right. But then he doesn't even have to play to him then. You know what I mean? I, I think that would work. Yeah. Um, well, he actually ta also talks about people just going there and recording audio mm -hmm. of his concerts. And Tommy said that um, 
you know, every single night he sees people with those, you know, those handheld recorder mics, like the right. Zoom mm-hmm. mics with the, you know, right. the two things. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, so he says even on stage he's able to spot these people out who are holding up these mics or they'll have them like <laughs> hanging off their neck, he says. Oh. <laughs> um, but he did admit that one time um, after a concert, the day after a concert, he found a, a audio recording of someone who had one of those mics and he ended up buying it off of the guy that recorded it because he it sounded so good for some reason oh really he listened to it and was like holy crap this is one of the best like live recordings that i've heard of myself and he wow he ended up buying it um because yeah he said it sounded um he sounded so good uh or it sounded so good um and then one other thing that I thought was uh, interesting, which this one makes sense, is he it is after the show with fans. He says a lot of times fans will just walk up to him with the, their cell phone already recording, right? And be like, "Hello, how's it going?" And he says that just drives him nuts. Um, which that I could see, like. He's like, didn't you want to meet me? Like, am I doing a video for you? Or are you wanting to meet me? Like, yeah. what's going on here? Am I supposed to perform in front of your camera and say something special? <laughs> yeah. Or like, um, so, yeah. yeah, he said, it's like, quote, he says, quote, it's like, put that damn thing away. It's unbelievable. I don't get it. Um, so that I think would be, would get kind of annoying for sure. Um, yeah. Just someone walking up and they're already yeah. recording and you're just like. Yeah, that's uh, like a news person coming up and saying, hey, right. you know, congressman, give, you know. Right. So anyway, uh, I thought it was interesting because, yeah, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of artists don't say anything about it. Um, I think they kind of just know what's going on and they've kind of learned to tune it out or just realize that it's a part of. Uh, part of life um, there's only one one band that i know that does a, like a no phone policy um that's jack this guy jack white mm. uh this rock guy other than that yeah i don't hear about it too often um but i have heard of backstage and stuff where you're not allowed to like yeah you can only meet them and you can't have your phone up oh, or course, maybe you yeah. give it to the the you give it to the um PR person and they snap one photo of you right. with, you know, something like that would be, um, by the way, Tommy is a super, super nice guy and really a, a wonderful person. Yeah. A lot of comments about the, um, Tommy thing. Yeah. 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 I was, um, Yeah, not just the filming, it's also people putting it on YouTube for the rest of the world to enjoy it. So that's one reason why people don't like it, because it'll kind of live in infamy on YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, people, people, Fernando says, you know, people are more interested in, in about bragging later on social media about going to a place Right. Or going to a concert as opposed to just going there to enjoy the the music. Um, yeah. Which then tends to like kind of miss the whole point there. Uh, ring system music um, the, was the result of generational shift in the way we process memories as a society. Instead of just saying, man, that show was so good, people can actually show other people, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's interesting that sometimes when you record something, you don't have to remember it because you've got it. So then you just kind of blow it off at the moment. You don't, you, you don't like a lot of guys videotape the class that we do at camp, right? And so um i i can understand that and they can go back and listen i get that that's that's really great and i don't care if you do it or not my only thing is i think sometimes you you can say well i don't quite understand it i'm not going to really work you know but i'll get it later i get it later so whereas if you kind of just knuckle down you could probably get it right then well uh, whatever i don't know Uh. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, 
hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.